friends, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play the 11th Hour. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. In last episode, we beat that knight's puzzle with the little half of a, not even half of a chessboard. However much of a chessboard it was we were given to work with, we beat that after Lord only knows how long <laughs> it took me to do. Um, it was tough. It was a lot of trial and error for me, but I did it. I beat it. I did that for you guys just for you. Definitely not an innate uh, desire on my own end to prove to myself that I am puzzle god of all things point and click. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with that. <laughs> Can I go down here? I don't think we went down here uh, last time. I don't think we even could. I couldn't figure it out. Anyway, let's go. I got, I think I got a little turned around last time we were here, but this is the room as I keep interrupting my own thoughts. This is the room where that other puzzle is. It's this thing. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with this. Let's see if the... Make it add up. Make it add up. The help hint is divide the keys into two halves of the same shape. So that's what's killing me, right? So in my mind, I'm like, has it something to do with... It's got something to do with numbers. We're looking at numbers. It clearly has something to do with numbers, but shape? That's what's getting me. So does this... Need to be symmet- Oh, does it need to be symmetrical? Oh, maybe it has to be symmetrical. Okay. Okay. I bet that's it. I bet that's it. Let's start with the 25 and the- f And the 5, maybe. I think that's a good start. <sighs> maybe. Maybe it's a good start. Yes, because I think uh, only one of the 25 should be pushed down, I think. And only one of the ones. So if I leave this one up, and that has to stay up, so this would have to go down. Because one, uh, only one of the ones can be down if we're going to make these equal. <laughs> so if that's down, then this has to go down. If I've not screwed it up already. And if I've got two fives down, I need another 10 down. But such that a 10 on the left doesn't go down. Um, which actually isn't a problem. I, all my 10s are over here except for this guy right here. Which means I can't push this specific 10. I also can't push this 10 or this 25 goes down. So that only leaves these three over here. Which isn't a big deal. Because I'm going to need to put some 5s down. And that's all that I have left over there. Oh, this might be really easy. I may have stumbled across what I needed. I think. Maybe. I'm just going to click them down and see what happens. I, this whole f top is down right now. This 10 and then that 5 over there in the corner? Yes? Oh, no, no! I hit the reset! God! Oh my. I clump... Uh, God dang it! It made me leave! I hit the reset! This is... God, Lee, I hate... Right here. See see how this... See the difference here? This is clicking on the 5. This is clicking on reset. 5? Reset. God, that is so... Why would you do that, game? Why would you do that? Oh, God, that makes me... It's like they, um... They made all the puzzles, and they made the base... Basic, uh... Interface of going from room to room or whatever separately they made those separately smashed those game mechanics together but then didn't actually go through and like actually test their their puzzles in the game maybe they tested the puzzles individually separate from the game they didn't test it in the game to see if there were any sort of like quirks like that that you know would hurt the game and it does it hurts the game a lot that there that, that that's a problem Okay. Easy does it. I want to hit the five. There. Curse you. Yes! Yes, it was equal and, 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 and symmetric. Now, he said curse me. Rolling rock bottle cap. Rolling rock bottle cap. Rolling might mean turmoil. Rock must be another anagram. Anagram? Of course, rock is an anagram of cork. 
Okay, we unlocked all those clues by doing these puzzles, I think, and I just didn't realize that. We need a cork. Rolling rock, bottle cap. It's a rolling rock bottle cap. Rolling might mean turmoil. Alright, I think we might need to go and find a bottle cap? What is this? I, didn't, I don't think I could click on this before. Could I? Oh, I know what we're doing. Every time we zoom in like this, we're debating whether or not we're going to pick up that item, maybe, or use an item on it. And the guy's yelling at us because that's not what we need. I think we need a bottle cap and a cork. And maybe a straight-up rolling rock bottle cap. Uh, bo rolling rock being a type of beer. Not a type of beer, but a, a like brand of beer or whatever. That I am familiar with for two reasons. It's actually kind of a nice light beer. Um, but I actually recommend it. I like it. Oh, I can go into this corner. Also, it's the, like, official beer of the angry video game nerd. That's the what. He's got, like, a rolling rock clock. By the way, this is a secret passage. Where will it take us? Oh, we're in a dungeon. Oh. This is, this is not where I expected to wind up at all. Oh, spooky. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go through that door. I will, but I'm going to check out this room we're in right now. Actually, can I go to the map? Where, where on the map does this put us? The gallery? Third floor. And beyond! There's the room at the top, too. This was the room that we ended the game at in Seventh Guest. You go up here, go through the attic. There's the room at the top. There's a chapel and nursery lab. I don't remember this gallery at all from the other game, which is why I'm a little surprised. There was like a basement, a really spooky basement with a maze in it. A really crud maze, by the way, but, uh, that's okay. Ooh, I can go over there in that corner. That might have been the corner we actually came in through, though. I don't know what this, like, mace altar. It looks like there's, like, a mace here. Maybe that's a part of a torch or something. I think this is the corner we came in through. Yeah, it is. Don't worry, I'll turn around and come back through, because I want to find out what's through that door. This is a very spooky way to... Who just... Who does that, like, walks through the friggin... Who, uh, like, a short corridor like that, swinging your friggin god darn it i am not where i need to be it's very disorienting is what i'm trying to say who walks like this it's very disorienting okay go go through this door in the corner here I'm trying to collect my thoughts i can't do it this game will do that to you like who does this why are you rocking your um flashlight around? i couldn't think of the word flashlight i couldn't do it i could not think of the word flashlight who does that let's go through this door and hope it's not instant death Ooh, I don't think there's a way. I don't think there's a way to die in the game. I don't think so. I don't see anything to click on in here. I can kind of like turn around though. Ooh, ooh, is that is that blood spatter? Is that blood? We're in some sort of alchemy room. Can I click on anything on this table? No, nothing. Is there nothing to do here? It's quite possible. Oh, oh, what was that? Ah ha ha! Oh ho ho! Puzzle time! Oh, oh! What is this one out here? Okay. I... I can click on some of these, but it doesn't look like all of them. Oh, I can't click on any of them on the inside. I can only click on the ones on the outside. I think it might also be timing me right now. Well, what do I want to move on the outside? So what if I... Alright, so there's a spare piece here. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't have a clue what's going on this mouse isn't connected to anything so i don't really know what i'm aiming for oh well what if we do this again because it's going to replace the one the mouse is on the mouse is going to stay there it doesn't like fall so, okay, so, okay, I'm, I'm piecing this together. So we have this sort of L piece. If I click on 
I can't click on that at all. Oh, what, what, what can I click on? I can click on the mouse. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I have literally no idea what I'm doing. Can the mouse, like, turn to the right or something? How did you... Yes? Why did we snap the mouse? Oh, we have to reset? So is the left one a trap and we need to get him into the right one? And how was I supposed to know that? What is this puzzle? This is a very weird puzzle. I'm gonna click on... This one? It's weird because I, I uh, just, I, I can't tell. See, why did it do that? Why, why did it do that? I didn't click over there. I, I just don't actually know what rhyme or reason it does anything. All right, I've got this piece now. Let's all find it. I would like to put it here, please. I can't. It won't let me. Where can I put it? See, now I have to click on the mouse. Oh, I have to click on the mouse because it's connected here now, I think. So why, what's it doing? Why is it doing that? Why? I wanted the mouse to turn around. Why would we? I don't understand the rules to this one. I just don't know the rules. I really want this piece right here. Like, like, straight to the right of this mouse. Like, where the finger is woggling, right? But I can't choose that. I can choose what the mouse is on. I can choose the far end. If I choose what the mouse is on, though, it'll replace it with this piece, I think, and move everything down? If I move here, it'll move everything down, and then that will send it into that corner, I think, which is death. So I don't want that. What I need... So I need to decide what piece I need. I need a piece like this. So if I'm going to click on... Do I want to click on this? And then I'll move it all down? And then I'll get that piece? I think? Maybe? No, it's going to the left. I wanted it to go up and down. Uh, that's not what I wanted. That's a problem. Because now the mouse is going to go here. Uh, You shut up, Ethan. Oh, okay, okay. This is gonna this is gonna take some time. The mouse, I think, always goes forward. I get the mouse. The mouse always goes forward, so whatever's in front of it is what direction it's gonna end up going. I don't understand why if I put this piece down one place, why sometimes it'll do that whole row and then just some random row. And I don't know why when I clicked here, I guess it probably went straight left because those were all movable pieces, whereas I wanted it to go up and down, but obviously there's... I guess immovable pieces. Okay. Okay. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting the rules. And I'm sure that because this is the 11th hour and not just something else, it's going to be a really indirect route. I probably need to start going to the left and bring them around to get them to the right. It's probably going to be something really complicated like that. I'm okay with that. I'm going to click on this, this row. So the mouse can't move yet. So why does it do that? I don't know why it does that sometimes. That's what that's what gets me. I'm gonna click on this one again. Cause now the mouse can move to the Oh no, the mouse has to move forward. No, it doesn't. Why are you going left? I want you to go this way. Why did he go that way? I, I clicked on the mouse because I thought he would go over here because there was a connection. He can only go in a direction where he's connected, right? Did he go to the left because there were two of them that were connected instead of one? I'm down with that if that's the rule. I just don't know what the rule is. All right, so if I click on here, is it going to do the two rows or just one? You're such a loser, Carl. 
I'll be right back. There it is! I think it won! Oh my god, I accidentally won! I did! I did get lucky! I'll, I'll show you the... <laughs> I'll show you the whole part of me clicking the last thing that I clicked and just watching in silence. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Here's my explanation. The best that I can figure out is that the game's actively fighting against you. Excuse me. So sometimes you can click on a move around the sides and that replaces the entire ro row like I thought it did. It takes the piece on the side, sets it where you clicked, and shuffles everything off to the side. The piece that falls off is the new piece on the side. Occasionally, the game will then take like a turn to try to screw you up. I feel like it didn't do it every time, which was really frustrating. But sometimes, instead of moving a piece on your turn, you can move the mouse if he had a direction to go, and you would have to click. The eyeball would have, like, veins in it, and that's how you knew it was the mouse's move and not moving a piece. So then you can move the mouse. Sometimes the game took a turn to move the mouse and not a piece as well. So you were kind of, like, fighting against the game. Sometimes I feel like the turn order was wonky, or maybe it just felt wrong to me, and that's why I wasn't understanding it the first few times, but it's kind of like you're trying to get to the right and the game's trying to get to the left. And I'm so lucky that I, I accidentally got it all the way to the corner there. Oh, oh wow, guys. Woo! Took a little while. It, it, it took a little while. I think I mostly understand the game now. Can I? What is this? What is this? Is that a cork? Bad move? Oh, be careful now. You wouldn't want to get something right, would you? I don't know how we make this any easier. Aha! Okay. Alright then. I'm. Now that I've done that puzzle, I'm going to save. Just. Uh, I'm going to save in a new slot. Why not? I'm going to call this one Randy. I don't know if you can screw up the ending or anything like. <laughs> or anything like that. But I'm going to save in a new slot. Just because. Fine, Carl. You're getting closer. Uh, th th thank you, Joliet. I just don't remember. Rudy? Judy? Jamie? Candy? I don't remember what her name was. But anyway, I'm going to stop right there. If you've enjoyed this series so far, please do all the things. But whatever you guys do, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, it's not goodbye. It's see you later. A very special thank you to my Patreon supporters, Alex Duquette and Blazebat. You have my undying love.